Don't ever completely drain and empty your pond because that just totally changes the environmental conditions for your fish and what they've been living in and thriving in and growing in in terms of the water chemistry, completely gone. So you can actually lose some fish, you can stress your fish, you can cause disease because when they go back into this new environment, they're having to freak out and just change their internal um, body salts and, and their osmoregulation to suit the, the new conditions and that energy that would otherwise go into growth is going into just basic survival and, and stress relief and, and trying to keep alive. So you don't ever want to completely drain your pond. If you do because you've, you've neglected your maintenance, got to a point where it's so bad you can't do anything else, then you're going to need to pull those fish out, put them in containers that have uh, got the old pond water in there and slowly reintroduce those, those fish um, back into the pond after it's done. You'd need to dechlorinate the water in the new pond, acclimatise the fish so that you're pouring some of the new in with the old, and then slowly release them back into the pond. But you don't want to do that. Um, it's the last thing you want to do. Do your pond in sections. If you've got to do a big clean, and with a vacuum cleaner, for example, and you are pulling water out, up to maybe a 50%, that's okay. Um, if you've got to do it uh, because you've got that much muck and you get down to 30%, 40% of your water's gone, just stop and then fill it back up with the fresh water with the dechlorinator and then in another week or two do it again. If you want to check out more information, have a look at the description below. Subscribe to us, we'll uh, hit the alert button, we'll send you out notifications and we'll keep, keep educating you so you can make your life easier and get a really nice pond or dam that you love. Thank you.